And we've got two, uh, two of the local girls versus one of the cots here, Simon. This should yeah. be a great race between the three. Yeah, the two are big hitters. So these guys dead heated tie in the uh, beach sprint. So that's Sydney Rafferty on the beach side. That is Amy Bremen in the middle. Uh, Amy Bremen, daughter of a famous West Australian footballer, and Sydney Rafferty from the Rafferty Waterman family, and Alicia Ward, who's 17, from Cottesloe. So two run-throughs. In the boys, down to the final three, Aaron Gigney from Mullaloo, Ed Host from Trigg, and the mighty Jacko Simons, the beast, uh, from uh, Serena. He is something, isn't he, We've mate? got a smile from him too over there, Jacko. Well done to see. Here we go. Two local girls from Serena and one from Cots. Got a couple of Cottesloe Cot 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 supporters here. Can she win? Yes. All right, we're over the starters. Short, sharp, physical. All right, it's all about the turn. It's all about the shoulders in front of Sereno 1-2 at the moment. Geez, they look strong, Simon. The Sereno girls 1-2 at the moment. Yeah, well done to Alicia Ward from Cottesloe, the 17-year-old. Well done, Alicia. Her coach and her friends and family are here. Very attractive group of people, might I say, too. Ty, just behind you there. So well done to the two Sorrento big hitters. Uh, no Gabby Murphy, uh, no Britt Horton here today. And these girls have the run of the sand on their home turf. Ty, they absolutely love it. They're friends, they're mates. They want to beat each other today. All right, Aaron Gigney from Mullaloo. Ed Host from Trigg and in the middle. Just watch this preparation, Ty. Ty, just watch this preparation from Jacko Simons. This is why you come to the SunSmart WA Surf League. Have a look at Jacko as he gets set up. All right, the girls that have just finished, I've got Sydney and uh, Amy here. How are we feeling, girls, going to the final? Yeah, pretty excited to go 1-2 um, in Sorrento, so yeah, it should be good. How good is it to be on your home beach here with Jacko as well, showcasing what you girls do best in terms of the beach sprints and flags? Yeah, definitely good to have like a, a role model, I guess. Sure. Who's, who's going to win? Oh. <laughs> I love that. Love it. Over the starters. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, mate. Here we go, folks. Three down to two. Three runners, two flags. Short, sharp, physical, as described by our man, Ty. Here we go. Competitors ready. Heads down. Three go in, two come out. Good turn from Trigg, but look at that. Look at that, the experience of Jacko Simons. Cruises up on the outside, has a little look over his left shoulder and uh, picks up a flag. But I love the turn there, uh, Simon, of Trigg. Solid turn. If he can... Flags is all about the turn and getting your shoulder in front. If he could pull one out of the hat here, Trigg, a turn and shoulder in front, it'll make things interesting for Jacko. Yeah, well done to Aaron Gigney, who goes out now from the mighty Mullaloo. They are a giant of a club tie, Mullaloo. They are so strong with these emerging juniors. So Ed Host from Trigg goes through. Jacko Simons is there as well, the big fella. We're not far away from our two runners. Jacko Simons looking remarkably upbeat today. Uh, the big plumber, we... Go now to the start. Folks, come over and have a look at the flags. We're down to two runners. They're both from Sorrento. They're awesome. Amy Bremen on the club side. Sydney Rafferty on the beach side today. Two guns. They dead heated. They dead heated in the beach sprint today, folks. Who will take out the flags? Competitors ready. Heads down. Oh, good turning. That's Sydney on the, uh, the water side and coming home. But I think it's Sydney. She's done enough. And that's yeah. uh, Sorrento 1 2 there, Simon. Awesome, mate. Well done to Sydney Rafferty. So dead heated in the beach sprint today, the two friends, the two mates, Amy Bremen and Sydney Rafferty. Two young emerging stars, mate. The queen of the sand, Gabby Murphy and Britt Horton, not here from City today. So well done to the two girls. They were magnificent. We go to the final of the men's. Look at Jacko Simon's pre-race prep today, folks. He is a different unit, no doubt about it, the big plumber. I might get you to see if you can grab Sid for us, mate. So great work from the two Serena girls. Big hand for the girls over here. And well done to Sydney, well done to Amy. Look at those big, beautiful smiles. That's what the SunSmart WA Surf League is all about, Ty. Okay. Yeah, it's a big dance now for the boys, isn't it? Two go in, one will come out with the flags. Obviously, probably uh, the favourite going into this, the local boy, that's of uh, as Jacko. But anything can happen in flags. I can tell you now, I've seen a lot of things happen in flags over the years. And uh, can Trigg cause an upset? So come over the tents, make some noise and support your, uh, your clubs. It's Trigg versus that of the local club of Sorrento. Yeah, two very different blokes, two different clubs, two different blokes, different styles, the technique, the st brute strength. Uh, this is what we came here, folks, the final of the flags. I'll come back to you, Ty. Jacko Simons, an end host from Trigg, taking final instructions from Tegan Mafficioni over there. Good to go. Competitors ready. Heads down. Oh, there's the turn. Oh, it's coming. Oh, what about that? 
Oh, what about that? We, we spoke about it, didn't we? <laughs> I said, Trig to me has the better turn, and the crowd has come alive. Little oh, stumble. Oh, so close, so I'm so little, close. Little stumble from Jacko on the just about halfway through, but just throwing those big bodies around. How good was that, mate? That's what we came to see, Ed Host. Well done. Magnificent final from the two boys. Big hand for our two protagonists here, Jacko Simons and Ed Host. We are going to get some interviews with these guys in just a moment. So I'm down the beach now with our, what about the sand pit? Jacko, what about that, mate? Almost an upset there by Trig, but you managed to uh, come home with the goods in the open male beach flags. Yeah, obviously almost made an absolute meal of it and Hosty got a cracker turn and yeah, it was a good battle and just lucky enough to get the win and Hosty was flagging good all day, so yeah, it was good comp. Mate, you're an outstanding athlete, obviously five times Australian beach bin champion, up there in the flags as well. To have a hit out like this here on your home beach, originally home beach growing up here as well, it must be great heading into state and Aussies. Yeah, obviously there's not a whole lot of carnivals this year, so it's always good to have a good hit out over here and the surf league's a good environment for that and, you know, you're racing the best from each club and, you know, three weeks out from states, it's always good to have that good hit out and then build into Aussies for the rest of the year. And there we go, Sydney club uh, mate as well, or lady as well, I should say, and partner. Uh, it's a great battle, isn't it, between the girls there from, uh, from Sorrento here and it keeps you on your toes, obviously, pointy in the season. Yeah, it's good to have aims. We're always close at training and everything, so it's just great competition to have at the club. And uh, obviously last year you won the under-19 Beach Britain Flags. Still an under-19 this year. Can you go back to back? Um, I've got Ames this year in my age group because she's a younger one, um, so don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Now nah, back yourself, back yourself I say. Well there you have it, open male and open female Beach Flags champions, both from Sorrento. Well, for this weekend anyway, Jacko, well done. Thank you.